Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at GLMR. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. And if you haven't seen the previous update, watch that before watching this one so that you have more context. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now, I do want to say that uh, the markets right now seem to be rallying just a little bit. Uh, but always be careful at these uh, little rallies because usually they are caused by some sort of an event and usually that is very temporary. So this pump here is probably caused because of the news regarding the Twitter purchase by Elon Musk and obviously Elon, anything regarding Elon is going to pump the markets a little bit, especially Dogecoin. So this is a good swing trading opportunity in my opinion because I don't think this is going to be the um, the beginning of the bull market by any means. Like I said, I think the bull market is going to kick off sometime during spring 2023 because that's when the energy crisis is going to settle down a little bit and uh, that's when uh, the markets are going to probably start recovering. That's just my opinion. We could see a local top in April, May, just like we did for the past two years. Or we could just have a local top in August, just like we had uh, this year and in, in, in the previous year as well. So uh, multiple scenarios here potentially to play out, but we'll see what happens. And if I start zooming out here to show you the Fibonacci retracement that I have set up, it's really simple. So you have the swing high over here uh, that you set in July and you have the swing low here that you set in the middle of July. And you have your 1.618 target down here at 41 cents. And I think that's something that we're going to retest before we eventually start moving to the upside. Uh, so you have the buy zone anywhere from 41, uh, 34 to 0.3888. And uh, that's a very important buy zone for us to hold. And uh, yeah, that's regarding this little um, Fibonacci here. If I start zooming out a little bit more, there's a different Fibonacci that I have set up, a larger one. And as you can see, this one has the swing high all the way back here in April of this year. And the swing low is in January or February, I should say, this year. And we have the 1.618 target at 85 and a half cents. That has been met a very long time ago. And we're already below the second Fib level, which is 54 cents. So right now we're holding the 38, 39 cents range. Uh, anywhere below that, I think that's going to be a nice capitulation for Bitcoin. So only in that case, I expect a GLMR to go below 40 cents. Now, jumping into the daily RSI here, uh, as you can see, we are slowly but surely breaking above this yellow resistance trend line. And we've been retesting it since April as resistance multiple times. And for now, if we manage to break above it and solidify and bounce off of this, this could be a very nice entry point for GLMR, right? Because from there, you're going to see a move to the upside. So regardless, we would need confirmation from the price action before we can trade based on, on off of the RSI because uh, you always need confirmation. You cannot trade based on the oscillators alone because that would be very, very foolish. So yeah. In general, GLMR right now is in a very good position for accumulation, in my own personal opinion, because if you zoom out and you take a look at this area here, you can see that it's basically in a flat. And um, we did have similar situations here where you were in a flat over here as well, and then you broke down and you were also in some sort of flat over here, but that was really a rising wedge, so we don't count that. And uh, yeah, so you had this flat here in May, you broke down another flat here in October. There is a there is always a chance that you can break down, right? And you can come down to 32 cents, 34 cents. But it just depends on Bitcoin. You know, whatever Bitcoin does, altcoins will follow. So if you're expecting these prices below 40 cents, just set up your buy limit orders in advance and you're good to go. But if you want to buy off of the support levels, and buy off of uh, and buy up the red candles, then that's what I do. And I just wait for these moves to the downside and I try to dollar cost average in at that point because buying every day a certain amount of price, a certain amount of coins uh, is not really what I like doing because I like to buy when the prices are cheap and I try to put as much as I can. Obviously, uh, I know that uh, we should all 
put only the amount of money that we're willing to lose. So always keep that in mind. Let's switch over to the Binance website. And moving over to the daily chart here. So as you can see, uh, our daily uh, price action chart has a falling wedge, which we are breaking out of right now. Okay. And that is a very good sign. We're retesting previous resistance as support. And that is pretty much exactly what we did here for our um, for our daily RSI. But this is a symmetrical triangle. This is not a falling wedge. Here we have a falling wedge. So it's a little bit different, but still we're breaking through a major resistance level and we're back testing that as support. So that's good in itself. And um, our next major target after we presumably break the 20 EMA over here, which is currently sitting at 46 and a half cents. After we break that, I would be targeting the 55 daily because we haven't seen a retest of the 55 since April 2022. And that's been a very long time. That's been a very long six months since the last retest. Well, actually, that was a lie. We did see a wick here above that on October 16th. That was a very nice swing trade opportunity for you. But as you can see, I do have a very important resistance level here. So 60 cents, roughly speaking, is your major target. And this is where I'm thinking and expecting we can run into based on... Um, based on what we have here on the chart. So this is a very important support level that we held as support in the first half of the year. And then we lost it in August and we back tested it as resistance in September. And we've been in the falling wedge ever since. And right now we may come back up to retest that level as resistance once again. So this is going to, this is going to be a very nice swing trade opportunity for you. And if you're not expecting the bull market to roll up anytime soon, then if you reach this area, this could be a nice place to take some profits, wait for a pullback, and then you buy back in. That's just what I would be doing. Personally, I don't own any GLMR tokens as of yet, and that could change in the future if I get enough time to accumulate all the altcoins that I want because GLMR is not a priority for me. I'm not saying it's a bad project. I love all the Polkadot projects, but uh, there are other projects that I'm looking at. And speaking of higher resistance levels, so moving down the line sometime in 2023, potentially we could retest 78 cents. Obviously, this could all change, uh, you know, very quickly because we did see this strong move here within 60 days from this low. So within the next 60 days, there's also the potential that we might come back down to or come back up to that area. Anything's possible. But obviously, if Bitcoin and crypto go down uh, with any potential strong regulation coming out from the EU or the US, uh, all crypto is seemingly going down. And that is going to provide us a generational buying opportunity. But a lot of people are going to exit in fear. So yeah, overall, uh, just go to the weekly chart, zoom out, take a look at what's happening. And uh, yeah, this is a very good buying opportunity for GLMR, especially if you have been dollar cost averaging here in in January of this year at eight dollars. Uh, I mean, right now, this is a you know, this is a perfect opportunity for you to buy more because at some point the trend is going to reverse and nothing can go down forever and nothing can go up forever. So at some point we're going to see the reversal into the bull market. And I think we're going to see a nice 2023. But I think we're going to see the bull market kick off in at the beginning of 2024 or the end of 2023. So that's just what I think. And if we take a look at some oscillators on the daily chart, actually, let's jump into the three day chart uh, just so we can have a better idea of what's going on. So the three day chart, as you can see, is in this zone here, uh, which is very low which is very low on the RSI, very close to the oversold. Uh, and this means that this is a very good buying opportunity. Now, once you're going to move all the way up here and you're going to be in the overbought above the index of 70, somewhere at 85, 95, that is when you should be taking profits. OK, and I'm not a financial advice, obviously. So the MACD here is very close. Uh, or the moving average is very close to the signal line. But since we are in this sort of flat here, I wouldn't really be trading with the MACD. So I wouldn't uh, take a look at the MACD for now. And I would just ignore it. The stochastic is in the oversold on the three day chart. So this is a very good sign that 
this is a probably one of the best opportunities that you're going to have to buy GLMR at these low prices. And the stochastic is here for us to confirm that. Once you're below the index of 20 on the stochastic, that shows that the asset is oversold. So that is pretty much it regarding GLMR. If I missed out anything important on the charts, please let me know down below in the comments section. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, feel free to join me on Patreon, and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.